Are you ready to discover your own real life superpowers? I know I am. Welcome to day one of our five day super powered you challenge here on the painted porch. For those of you who I don't know, hello, I am Amy Yakowski. I'm the founder and chief evolution officer here at painted porch strategies. We are a training and advisory team dedicated to helping individuals and businesses design a blueprint for lasting growth, resilience, and success. And this week we are, you can be your own real life super superhero, both for yourself and for the various teams that you're a part of in your life, in your work, and everywhere in between. So this is actually a really fun party game or exercise that you can do in a myriad of different settings and environments, but it's a really fun way to kick off and reveal a lot about a person's individual experiences, beliefs, your values, your virtues, and your vices. And so we're going to start off day one of our challenge, beginning to step into and discover what our real life superhero powers are. You ready? Okay, all right, let's get started. So you are a regular Joe or Jane going about your life. Then one day, something incredible happens. A stranger shows up at your door. Okay, no, the incredible thing is not that you have a visitor. I mean, for me, it might, since I work from home and I'm kind of a hermit, but it's the message that the visitor is sharing with you. You, yes, you are not a regular average person. You have a gift. In fact, you have several gifts. And now it's time for you to learn how to tap into them. Now, whether you immediately thought about someone, say, like Harry Potter, or possibly Luke Skywalker, or maybe even Neo from The Matrix, or one of my personal favorites, Captain Marvel, or even any other countless characters, you are now a superhero. Congratulations. But the big question now is, what three superpowers would you want to possess and why? Now, as for me, my alter ego, my superhero persona is the stoic siren. I am a fearless defender of the four cardinal virtues of stoicism, wisdom, courage, justice, and temperance. My superhero abilities include the ability to detect truth from lie, the ability to tap into any known information about life, the universe, and everything, kind of like Janet from The Good Place, and also to have the superhero strength and fighting skills of Buffy Summers' Vampire Slayer. So what I'd like you to do for day one of our challenge is to take a few minutes to craft your own superhero skill set. If you're so inclined, I also encourage you to give yourself a super and bonus points if you come up with your own logo or you send me a picture of your superhero outfit. Again, this is just meant to set a foundation to get you in the right mindset of if you were a superhero, what type of skills or strengths might you want to possess? and why. But remember, as Uncle Ben tells Peter Parker in Spider-Man, with great power comes great responsibility. So choose wisely, your heroic journey this week and beyond awaits. So I look forward to hearing about what your superhero persona is, what your superhero name is, what strengths and abilities you would like to possess if you were, in fact, given the great news that you are a superhero. So post your answers in the comments below, and we'll meet again tomorrow for day two of our superhero challenge, where we'll start to dig a little bit deeper 
and start to uncover and discover some of those hidden superpowers that you currently possess. And let's start bringing them out into the open and show you how you can tap into those powers for good, both for yourself and for the various teams that you're a part of in your life, in your work, and everywhere in between. So good luck. And I'll see you again tomorrow for day two of our Superhero Self Challenge.